Hello darlings and welcome back. This is the Wolf Among Us and this is Big B and I'm putting like the casual gamers this and we're about to choose which one of the two we want to visit first, I think. Um let's take it from the top and I'll take the lucky pawn as a first pick. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. Okay. How about the Butcher you know shop. that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. It's never you meat. Yeah, 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 pond. shut up. We're going to the Lucky Pond. I'm going to the Lucky Pond. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. And I'm not afraid of gossip. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh. Thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Well, the, what I hate about these two is that they're too greedy in their lifestyle and they want to go back to their old lifestyle, which was um, living like princes and princesses in castles and crap like that. It's impossible. This is their real life. Here we are. Lucky Pawn. Jewelry, repair, antiques and stuff like it's that. dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, really? Hey, what? babes. Big B's here. Oh. This is a surprise. Sheriff, why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just... Follow the rules. Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again, like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, alright? And anyways, I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic! So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Why would you think I'd take an ugly used mule skin coat? Cause it's magic mule skin, that's why. And it's not even mule skin, it's donkey skin. Hey, wait a minute, that's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place, what do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. What are you complaining to him for? You know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much, so forgive me if I don't expect anything different now. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? Shut. Up. I know who you're talking about. Um, Ogfrey? The Crooked Man, right? This is his place. Those are his loans. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off! Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. It's just tough, who's all. Look, I'll... I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. 
I'm... Oh, shit. I thought I still had... Uh... Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. We're nothing like him. He really grows on you. I should have taken the money. Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. Last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? Because I don't know anything about it. I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. Because I'm not a mind reader. And unless it's bar trivia, I don't think I can help much anyway. There's more than just pawning going on here. You got the loans. What else? Maybe it's like a weapons locker, too. Was the axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. I'm just joking. I never miss anything. Uh, Steel trap and all that. Shut up. Oh crap, I didn't click on it. Don't. Ugh. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh. Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so. Uh, can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So, uh. I'd really rather you not physically be here if he comes back. You know? He's not what I'd call a. Friendly fellow. I want to check stuff out here first. If this is a crooked man place, maybe something here will help me find him. Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm going to take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. Cool. Ah, it's a good thing it gave me uh, another option. What's the anvil for? Blacksmith didn't need it. Haven't seen him around for a while. Blacksmith? Hmm. Okay, a statue of a horse. The headless horseman. Isn't this Cranes? Maybe. I don't know. This is the knife Lawrence had, the dagger. This is Prince Lawrence's dagger. Mm hmm Did he sell this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so, uh, who cares, really? Why would Lawrence do something like Drugs. that? Drugs. Because he's poor. That's why. You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? No. I know how it is. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. Bastard. All right, uh, display case with lots of junk. Nothing in particular. Well, let me see. There's something missing here. Okay, let's check the others first. Rings. Rings, bra bracelets, and rings. Nothing really interesting. Uh, pin cushion. Reminds me of Briar Rose. You're not touching anything, are you? Not yet. Oh, okay then. Maybe I'll come touch you if you keep at it. Alright. Um, urn. 
Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay? The phoenix and uh, what are those? Darts? Uh. Top prices for gold and silver. What? What are you seeing I'm not seeing? What's with the fish? Anything more? Crystal ball. Preconception unavailable due to crack. Just my luck. Okay, okay, here's the lamp. Is it different from the one Crane had his in his office? Guitars, uh, blah, guitars, 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 and the missing thingy. Huh. Found it. Where do you think you're going? Get your ass back here. Hey, hey. I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh... <laughs> Jack? Uh, yeah? When was Mary here? Was who here? Bloody Mary. Because the axe was here. But it's gone. And she had it. So she was here. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh, and even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Sometimes it's for her. Sometimes it's for the crooked man. But I'm smart enough to not ask questions, all right? Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... my fucking system. But you... You're the guy who makes sure I'm that... the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Gren said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. I think while tempers are running high, we should keep demands to a minimum. Hiya, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is his you... axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. Wait, we're not finished yet. Yes, we are. You work with the Crooked Man. Until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a sting, don't she? Meanie. Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's obedience school for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the crooked man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. The crooked man appreciated that. Tell me everything you know right now about the murders and the crooked man. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... Oh, this is getting good. Okay, 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 okay. Easy, boys. Break it up. Jersey, you're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park, just so I can prove to you that your axe isn't here. And you think I'm gonna take another inch of abuse? 
Are you out of your fucking mind? Hey, back off and settle down. Oh, what the fuck are you gonna do? You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Try me. Ooh, no, 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 no. So are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? Shoot! Ah. You mm, peens! Oh. Oh, I said oh. peens! Oh. Ow, 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 ow. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Oh, what is he? <laughs> Amazing. I don't know what this thing is, but it's awesome. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. There are guns back there. Oh. The axe is there. <laughs> Go on, try to stop me. All right, jump it. Ooh. Fucking stay down. There she is. So you turn it back? That doesn't make sense. One for my mommy. One for my daddy. Maybe? No, 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 no. Wait. In your face. Mother trucker. Yeah. If you call that a face. Uh, horny, are we? Not today, sir. Uh. It's still fine. Freaking fables. Oh, no, 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 no. Not the arm. Not the arm. I just fixed that thing. Cue him! Cue him! Cue him! I found her. Uh, yeah. Ooh, best thing ever. I think I just my pants. Just a little bit. <laughs> Got a new friend. So, wanna try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots behind the sun. In the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Oh, fucking shit. Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. No clue about who is really running this town. Nothing? I still have you, don't I? It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh, oh. He ain't going anywhere. You better not be fucking with me, or 
I'll come back here and finish the job. <laughs> you got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Sweet. Our next stop. Hey, Sheriff. What? Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want, but what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Alright. Small pause. And our next stop is going to be the butcher store. Hopefully. To find some more clues about the crooked man. And maybe the shard of the mirror. So we can discover where he's hiding. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I've been Podikaki on the Casual Gamers Nest. And I'm going to see you all in the next episode of The Wolf Among Us. Stay tuned. Bye bye. <laughs>